I just jumped my Land Cruiser. <laughs> as we're getting to Lorella Springs. Womp womp. Originally that was top of our hit list on the trip. But it looks like that's as far as we're gonna get, or as close as we're gonna get. Because they're shut for the year, which is a bummer. These guys are probably feeling the same thing. Oh well, other cool stuff to see. All right, all right. Now, normally, I tell the young players not to follow the feelings in your giblets because they'll get you into trouble. But we were looking for a campsite. <clears throat> Found a rubbish one, wasn't too good. The area was good though. And I saw a little a couple of tire marks and I had a feeling in my giblets. Look what we found. Oh, 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 oh. Thank you very much. There's fish, an actual fish fish. It doesn't look too crocodile-y. It's just probably the best campsite we've found so far, I reckon, in the territory. And I love it. There's even a little easy access for the crocs here to come get us. Oh, it's gonna be great. Yeah. Alright dudes, so our tranquil little water hole that we love so much. We're actually going to stay here two nights now because it's just beautiful. Um, <laughs> the kids are skimming stones. Um, apparently there are crocs in here. We just had some people that had camped here a couple of years ago, came back through, tried to get this spot. Sorry, old love with the see-through bikini. Um, they said it's great here, but while they were here, they caught a barra, which is cool. But also, one of the local ladies came down and said that there is a salty in here. Freshies not too worried about, because they're small. But salties are worried about. So, I'm going to stand here and keep an eye out. And now we're going to quickly take turns to hop in and have a tub real quick. Because it's hot and we're stinky and dusty and gross because we've been in corrugations all day. Uh, I think, well, I mean, my will sign. I don't know about these guys. Get out! Croc watch, croc watch. What are you gonna do? <laughs> you gonna Not do gonna let no crocs come, come for you. Proof of life. We all made it. We all made it. None of us got eaten. So we can tick off swimming croc infested yeah. river off our bucket list. Yeah. Allegedly. Oh, that's going in the captain's log for sure. All right, time to make a fire and some spagwell. <clears throat> See the fucking off cut. <laughs> Look at this near bloody disaster. <whistles> Corrugation has got it. You're kidding. Have you got a fish? You're kidding. Big bite and now it's just stuck. So it could be a rock. Highly likely it's a probably a rock, but. Do you feel like the. Yeah, it's not running. It's a rock. It's all going on here at Wyoming Creek tonight. <laughs> Bloody hell! I caught a rock. <laughs> I think I copped a rock and that's why the rum bottle's broken. Luckily. Sorry, everyone. It's all right. It's live action. <laughs> Luckily, we got loads of empty rum bottles so we could decant it. <laughs> Better check the other one though. So we think we worked out this uh, campsite. Oh, morning, by the way. I think we worked out this campsite is called Why You Here. Stink, anyway. Look. The 
the Hartzenberg special. It's a beast. We're gonna, uh, we've had mimosas for breakfast and pancakes. I'm gonna go for a walk and chuck a few lures around. Go on, catch a barrel of fish up. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. Thing, yeah, we? nah, yeah. Meteries. <laughs> See a nice little pool upstream that I want to go and have a look at. <clears throat> Although it means navigating through this stuff. But it's good. It's fun. Love this place. Alright, that was worth the bush bash. We got through some of the grockiest, snakiest looking stuff, so might be the last time you ever see me. Look where I got to. A nice little bank. No signs of croc slides or anything, so I'm just going to stand well back and have a couple of casts. I won't catch anything, but it's not about the fishing. It's not about the fish, it's the fishing. Oh, whatever. Look at it. <laughs> predicted no fish <laughs> didn't lose the hearts lure though mm. I think it's down to Annie now I also thought I'd just flick a lure into this hole over here and went for about 30 seconds I just got scared and ran away hang on look at this if that's not the most crockiest hole you've ever seen. Yeesh. Been staying away from that one. <laughs> Annie, why are you in a tree? Sad to say goodbye to this spot. Hmm, definitely top five cap spot to Alright, we're off to Hell's Gate. Sounds daunting, doesn't it? Big drive, more corrugations today. But we're getting towards Karamba, which is on the coast. And there's fish in, and it's gonna be great. I'll see you later on. I'm on the track for two minutes. I had to zip tie and tape something before we go through probably a croc infested river. Doing something. Made it. <laughs> Bit one. Uh, last night was actually our last night in the territory. We had the most beautiful campsite, and it was just perfect because. Back in Queensland, baby! Back in God's country. <laughs> Driving back in Queensland on blacktop too. Bloody luxury. I am going to miss the territory. The territory is pretty special. Got a little bit of my heart left behind there, I think. Definitely going to be going back. Uh, I think we're trying to get to a place called Hell's Gate, uh, which sounds spicy. And then we got more K's. I think we're doing a big case today, maybe. But we'll see. But look, back in Queensland, baby. Mm. I just jumped my Land Cruiser. <laughs> Far out. Ah, uh, yeah, a bit of a 
a dip and uh, brake and then floored it and took off and all four wheels were on. Oh my god. <laughs> Nice little baggy and a beer at Hell's Gate. Pretty cool. Sammy got the shit to wiki camps because it doesn't work with Apple anymore. <laughs> so we've decided just to drive towards Burkdown. You car starts. Uh, and work it out when we get there. I'm sleepy after that burger. All right, back on the road. There we go. All right, we got to Burkdown, which is where we're supposed to be staying tonight. But the little campsite place is booked out. The website to try and book any of the other places are $35 and they don't work. Sammy's getting quite frustrated. Well, he's disappeared. Gotta go. Gotta go. Bye. After the little uh, Burke Town debacle, uh, Sammy lost his little boomer patience a little bit. <laughs> uh, we blasted out. We were like, let's get out of here. It's too stressful. We didn't want to. Uh, didn't want to camp anywhere without permission or permits because we can't whinge about people not doing the right thing if we don't do the right thing ourselves. So we drove about 60 k's out and got to Leichhardt Falls. And not a bad little campsite. It's free. So uh, we're going to spend a couple of days here. Save up some money to go and pay to live in the boomer paradise that is the caravan park in Corumba. But look, mate. I'm a bit worried the uh, bit worried the cliff's gonna give way in the night and we're gonna roll down the hill. But I'm sure we'll be fine. For free. <laughs> it's a good one. Sorry, I didn't know if you could see it or not. All the birds. Yeah, we could. Yeah. Can't show you the out. Yeah. <laughs> what is what is speaking? Yeah, <laughs> yeah okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's not. So when we were in uh, Kakadu and we went on the yellow water cruise thingy, the guide said. Uh, someone asked about bubbles coming up from the bottom of the water and the guide said we usually say little bubbles big trouble now <laughs> we come for a little fish found this hole uh, i hope you can see it it's too bright but where i have my first two casts over there uh there's now loads of little bubbles coming up so <laughs> Oof. And he is also trying to get eaten. <laughs> Sam's wandered off. He's probably already been eaten by a croc. He's probably trying to fight it. But until we do get eaten, we do, we do. Let's fight. Good morning. We had a delicious sleep last night and a restful breakfast this morning. <laughs> Come down for a little walk, have a look at the river. Haven't seen any crocodiles, so having a quick look. But we figured out that like, we're camping up there, and there is like this flood debris in the trees. It shows you how much water you get through this place. I'm no good with measurements. That's pretty high. And yeah, you can see all the flood stuff. So, pretty glad we chose up there to camp up down here. <laughs> right, let's go and see if we can find some crocodiles. Look at these crazy big prey birds flying around. I'm not 
sure what it is. If you know, let me know. It's nice, it's just a bit windy. Look at this. We were looking for a fishing spot to try out, maybe. Down there is cool. You know. Probably can't see. Teaming with fish. Oh, ten year old fishing boys bristling with excitement. <laughs> My current address is no fixed abode. Yes, sir. What is your current address? No fixed abode. I don't have an address. I live on the road. I'm sitting at Leichhardt Falls in far north Queensland. My residential ad address is my 100 series Land Cruiser. L A N D C R U I S E R. L A N? <laughs> Mate, I don't have a fixed address. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Alright, just a quick one this morning. We are being in our Leichhardt Falls for two reasons. One, it's real windy. Two, we've got a caravan site with showers and washing and everything booked to Corumba. Oh, actually, and three, another one. As a couple of little special, special guests that we might be meeting in Karumba. Uh, I don't know how far it is, we just got sick of the wind so backed up real quick and we're on the go. I'm trying not to get bogged because I don't think I've got any oil in my front axle diff housing. So I'm two wheel driving everywhere at the moment until I sort it out. But I think, I think we're out. I think that's the, all right, I gotta go, I gotta come to the trick. Bye! Just had to stop and put some fuel in because she's a thirsty girl today. Sam's perving on the zone. <laughs> Conveniently, there's a little stop off here and it is Camp 119 for Burke and Wills. I'm gonna go and find out some more about it because we found that last camp. It wasn't the jeeriest one. Let's go and see if we can find out some information. Alrighty. This is the most northerly camp of the expedition pretty sunburned map but uh second night camping on our trip was dig tree where they eventually came back and died we're now at the top which is quite fitting until next time don't forget like and subscribe we'll talk to you later <laughs> cheers